In this screencast I'm going to show the uh, steps required to use something like PowerPoint to draw a sports pitch area. And here I've got a couple of examples. There's a badminton court that's been drawn and here is a netball court. Uh, the principles can be applied to different court layouts and structures um, but we'll, I'll show you in different screencasts how to do each of these two examples. Now, first thing you need to do is you need to find the dimensions of the court that you want. And if you do a search on the internet, there's various places that will give you that information. And the easiest thing is to have that information available in metric. So in other words, in meters rather than in feet and inches. So if you come across a site that gives you the dimensions in feet and inches, either you need to convert them into meters or find another site that gives you the, uh, the metric alternatives. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create Babson Court first. I'm just going to create a blank slide. So I've gone into PowerPoint, okay, and um, I'm going to choose the blank slide layout, which is this one here, uh, so I've got nothing on the page that's going to distract me. Now there's various different ways in which I can create this, um, but the principles um, are very, very similar. I'm going to first of all draw myself a rectangle, so I'm on the Home tab, there's a rectangle, uh, roughly the shape of a badminton court. Okay, It doesn't matter what size it is, uh, we're going to change that in a second. Having drawn it, and while it's still selected, I'm going to go to the format option and then on the right hand side here I've got the sizes in centimeters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, have a scale of one centimeter per meter. So this top box is the uh, this dimension here. Now I know from looking it up that a badminton court is 6.1 meters. So I'm going to make that 6.1 and the width of it is 13.4 meters or the length of it. So that's the size of my Babson Court. Now it doesn't matter what size it is on the screen, we're going to resize the whole thing at the end. It wouldn't matter if this thing actually went off the edges of the page. Okay, when I do my netball court, it actually goes off the page. That doesn't matter because we'll draw it to that scale and then we'll shrink it or enlarge it at the end. So um, having done that, I'm just going to use the zoom buttons just so that I can make it a bit bigger uh, to make it easier for me to work. So I've drawn the outer edge of my um, at Bampton Court. I'm going to leave it as blue at the moment. We'll change the colours later on. I'm now going to draw uh, another box which is going to be for the back tram line. Okay, so another box and I'm deliberately going to have it so it's not fully aligned. Okay, so there's my box. Again, format and I look at the size. Now, the vertical size is again 6.1 and the tram line happens to be 0.76 meters wide, so I need to change the dimensions there. Yeah. Now I could try and move this around manually with my mouse and try and drag it into the right position, um, which is okay in some situations, but there is an alternative. I'm going to select that box there, I'm going to hold my finger on the shift key, and I'm going to select the, the whole court box that's behind it. If I then go to the align options, then I can do um, a line right is going to move the tram line so it aligns with the right hand edge of that box and then um, I'm going to um, align bottom. Now what it's going to do is it's going to move the tram line down so it's aligned uh, with the uh, edge of the court. So the align right has aligned it with this back edge, the align bottom has then aligned it with this bottom edge here. Okay, uh, and I did it that way because my box was originally in that position there. So I'll quickly redo it. So a line right and a line bottom. Okay. So that's one of my tram lines. I'm then going to uh, copy and paste to get another set, move it over to this side here, and again, uh, I'll just put it higher. Um, this time I'm going to align left, so it moves it to the left edge, and then a line bottom. Yep, so I've done my two back tram lines. Uh, I'm then going to do the box, uh, service box, which is the area in front of it. So again, I'm going to draw a box, and I'm deliberately going to have it misaligned because I'm going to align it later on. It's 6.1, same again, and it's 3.96 is the width. So 3.96. Now this one here I have got to move manually so that I can line it up. And again, copy and paste and then I move it across there. Now that's not quite aligned correctly so I'm going to just select that and the box behind and align top and that's just nudged it up and then I think that one is okay. In the next screencast I'll finish off this drawing.